everyone, my name is Alize, I'm Purple Use on Instagram. If you follow my Instagram, then you know that my style of editing is like 3D environments, 3D rooms, all of that stuff. And you also probably know that I create all of my own 3D models. I use Element 3D to create my 3D models, so if you're not already familiar with the plugin, then you should definitely watch my Element 3D Basics video. I also have some videos on how to create 3D rooms and how to create your own 3D models. In the first video, I created a 3D rocket ship that was mainly made out of the Element 3D like basic shapes. Today I'll be showing you how to create a 3D car using extrusion models. Before we get started, I just want to say this isn't anything super professional, this is you know just for your Instagram, TikTok edits, and I just really hope that with this video I can inspire you or help you to create your own 3D models as well. So to get started, first you want to go to Google and search for car clip art. You want to find a flat 2D picture of a car. Something like this is actually perfect. So once you've chosen a picture, just go to After Effects and import the picture. I'm just going to turn up the scale and I'm going to pre-compose it. Now I'm going to zoom into it because we're going to be masking this car. So you want to make sure that your resolution is at full so it's not super pixelated like this. And then just press G on your keyboard to start masking. I'm going to press M on my keyboard and then change this to none, but that won't change anything. It's just to help me see like the rest of the car right now. Try to follow the way that I mask out my card. You want to just mask around the wheels like this, just mask around the outline. Now I'm just going to mask out the windows. After you're done masking out your car like this, you want to go back to Google and search for a tire clip art. Once again, you just want to find a flat picture like this to basically use as a template to mask out the way that we use this car as a template to mask out. So just import the picture again to After Effects and you want to press this eye for your car layer so that we can just look at the tire for now. Again, just scale it up and pre-compose and then just mask. So once again, just try to copy the way that I masked out the tire. So just masking out like the circle outline and then like the little spaces in between. Now I'm just going to press the I to hide this layer as well. I'm going to turn on the car layer again because I actually forgot to do something. So you want to hit command D on your keyboard to duplicate the layer and then click M and then just delete the mask that you have for like the car outline if that makes sense. So the green obviously you can see that's around the whole car i'm just gonna delete that mask and so all that's left is the windows and i'm just gonna hide these again now it's time to actually go on to element 3d so i'm just gonna create a solid layer and add element to it and you want to go to custom layers custom text and mask and for path layer one just link the first mask that we made and then link your second mask and the third. Now go to scene setup, click extrude and the car should pop up. If the car doesn't pop up for you and instead it's the tire or the windows, just go here where it says custom path and change it to either two or three and it should be one of those. Now that we have our car, I'm just gonna click this little arrow and then go to bevel one. First, you wanna check off bevel backside and then for extrude, increase this to about 15 to 25, um, depends on how thick you want it to look. I'm also going to increase the bevel size a bit. It just gives it a bit of a softer and curvier look. Now I'm just going to hit this little blue square so that we can hide it for now. It's not going to delete it, it's just basically like the little eye thing that we did earlier. So click extrude again. This time you want to change it to custom path 2 or 3 if your things got mixed up. Just change it so that it's the windows. Again, you just want to click this little arrow and bevel 1. Click bevel backside again. This time we're going to decrease the extrusion because it's windows. Obviously, we don't want it to look too thick. For the bevel size, I'm going to change it to the same number that I changed um, the actual car. So bevel size, I made it 2.42. So I'm just going to make it 2.42, just so it's consistent. Now I'm just going to click the blue square again so we can see our car again. 
and now you just want to move it up and move it forward just move it in place here now I'm just going to press command Z on my keyboard so I can duplicate it and then go to these arrows and you want to go to this last number and if it has a negative sign you want to delete the negative sign if it doesn't have a negative sign then you want to add a negative sign and that way it'll automatically flip to the opposite side of the car now to add the tires first I'm just going to add a group folder and I'm just going to drag it so it's above this and we can just focus on the tires right now so press extrude and again change the custom path to whatever like number of your tires are again press the arrow to go to bevel one and you want to press bevel backside you want to extrude it about five or ten or so and you want to increase the bevel size again now i'm going to press create and i'm going to press this tube model first just go to these arrows and where it says orientation turn the first value to 90 and you want to increase the size and then go back to this little wrench and just decrease the height and you want to just increase the internal radius now just increase the chamfer and increase the chamfer segments and increase the sides now you want to just drag this group folder back into the main folder and of course just decrease the scale as needed and just move it into place now just press command Z to duplicate the folder and then just use the little X arrow to move it to the other side. Now you want to duplicate this again and where it says position XYZ you want to change the last value and if it has a negative sign then delete it. If it doesn't have a negative sign then add one and that will automatically put the tire to the opposite side of the car. Now I'm just going to go back to my first folder with the tire. And again, I'm just going to duplicate it and then change this last value and basically make it the opposite. Now let's add some color to our car. So going back to the first model, which is the car itself, you can change up the appearance however you'd like. You can just change the color of it or use one of these presets. I'm just going to use the metal diffused preset. So I'm just going to drag that here and I'm just going to alter it a bit. onto the next model which is the windows since it's the windows i'm just going to add the glass preset to make it transparent you want to go to scene materials select the glass and then go to this last tab here and then turn down the force opacity and then you just want to drag this preset onto the other windows as for the tire i'm just going to add chrome to the extrusion model which is the inner part of the tire and I'm going to add that to all of these. So I'm going to hold shift so I can select multiple at once and then just drag chrome to one of them and it'll apply it to all of them. I'm going to do the same thing for the tube model. So just select one and then hold shift and select the other three and then just add whatever preset you want to add to them. If you want to change the appearance of any of these colors that we use, you can just go back to scene materials, just select whichever preset you want to change and it'll change all of them so you don't have to worry about dragging it back on and off so that is actually the whole 3d car here again not very professional looking but it's it'll do for your edits at least for me and i'm just going to quickly show how i've used this in my edit basically you just want to find a picture like this like a side profile of the person that you're editing and then just mask them out once you've created a mask, you just want to hide it again and then go back to your elements layer and add it to your custom text and mask. Then just go back to scene setup, create an extrusion model and then change it to custom path 4. And to change the appearance, just click the arrow and then click this picture and then where it says diffuse, just click that, click this arrow and custom layer 1. And then if it looks weird like this, just go back to the extrusion model and then click this little checkerboard thing and you want to click UV. And now you can just decrease the size.
yeah that's how you create a 3d car and how you can use it in your edits thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed make sure to like subscribe and follow my instagram at furgoyunes link is in the description thank you so much for watching and goodbye